Well, I thought I might show you one of my more recent projects. And uh, our part of the country, we get a lot of rain. But not in the summer. So I thought I'd build a rain barrel. And let me just show you how I did this. So the first thing I did was I excavated the ground and leveled it out. And I bought a bag of gravel from Lowe's. They sold it in the bags of 60 pound bags. And a 60 pound bag is just enough. And then after I leveled it out, I added cinder blocks. And the cinder blocks you can get at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's are about a buck twenty-five each. So it's really a cheap way to raise the height of your rain barrel. And on the very top I put these pavers. Um, just to cover these holes, I don't know why. The location I have, I put it right against the chimney and the side of the house. And I just had to, um, I was lucky, I had to, um, I was able to move this uh, cable. And that won't be a big deal. There's the downspot I'm going to add the diverter to. It's a leaf guard gutter system. Works really great. I've never had to clean our gutters once. And at the last house, I had to clean them at least once a year, once or twice a year. But I haven't had one clog yet. Okay, so then after you get the base and it's nice and solid and level, then you can add the, the barrel. And um, using these cinder blocks really works well, especially if you want to raise your barrel. And what that does, it gives you more water pressure when you hook up the spigot to like a garden hose. And uh, let's take a look here. And these are the plugs that uh, came off the tank. This one just has a uh, regular two inch IPS threads. And it has the uh, inset for the uh, bung wrench, which is this. And this fits right in there to tightening, loosen it. So, and that goes in this, this hole here. This one here has a coarse thread. I believe they call it the buttress thread. And that will go in over here. It also has an inset for the wrench as well as it has a uh, three-quarter inch tap if you want to run three-quarter inch pipe into it. So, so I think I have this figured out. I'm going to plumb this. Um, I'm going to insert this diverter piece, this one right here. That's going to go inside the downspout. You have to drill a hole in the side, and this just snaps. You squeeze that, and it pushes into the hole. And then all the water that comes down hits this flapper here and diverts it into the outlet. And then I'm going to put a ball valve in there so I can just like shut it off for the winter. Uh, I've got this little Fernco coupling. And then I'm going to elbow down, and then 45 over, and then into this male adapter, which goes into this bushing. And the bushing is going to go into another bushing that I don't have yet, but it will mount right into here. And the other bushing has uh, bigger threads like that. So that will... So the water basically will come out here, straight across, elbow over, 45 down, uh, right into there. Now, with this system, the way this is designed, uh, it's supposed to go in 
level and then when it overflows the water backs up and it runs over this overflow level here uh, but the way I'm doing it I'm gonna have an overflow line installed right about here and so what what I'm gonna do there is I'm gonna tap into this barrel here and it'll be exactly level all the way across here and go into the downspout again just below and I'll use these fittings here so basically you drill a hole um, just the same size as that right up against that lip there and then you squeeze that in and it snaps in and it has three quarter threads and when you screw this male adapter in it'll expand this rubber coupling here so that it remains uh, snug and then I'm going to come out from the side of the downspout to the male adapter to this little Fernco coupling to a 45 to this male adapter and then this here is the other side and this will go right into the side there after I drill that hole. So we'll have one here and one here and it'll be level, exactly level and that will serve as the overflow. And then at the bottom right here I'm going to put a spigot and that will it'll just set about like right like so and this is an ideal valve for this system it's made by FNW and it's the number FNW 428DF and um, they're still available you can get them at any Ferguson store you can order these for you and it comes with a handy garden hose cap and they also make it where this is three-quarter inch here instead of half inch basically the same ball valve though thanks for watching and have a great day